Hey guys, Melissa here with lovableloops.com. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this reindeer applique. I also have patterns for this snowman and this Christmas tree. I'm, I'm going to make tutorials for those as well, so I will link to everything down below um, for the written pattern on my blog and the other crochet tutorials. All right, you're going to need an E 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle and worsted weight yarn in a light and dark brown, red for the nose, a little bit of black for the two eyes, a scrap of white for the sparkle on the nose, and then whatever color you would like for your scarf. I used blue. Okay, to begin, we're going to begin by making the head. You're going to need your lighter brown shade and you're going to start by making a magic ring. chain two and you're going to make ten double crochet Okay, I'm going to double check to make sure that's 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, go ahead and join in the round with a slip stitch to that first double crochet. You can tighten up the magic circle. Okay, for round two, you're going to chain two and you're going to make two double crochet in each stitch, including that first stitch that you joined to. It's a snow day today, so my kids are home, so you might hear them yelling in the background. I'm just happy that they're playing together now instead of fighting like they were earlier. All right, so you're making two double crochet in each stitch. Okay, the end of round two, you should have 20 stitches. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, go ahead and join in the round. For round three, you're going to chain two. You're going to make two double crochet in your first stitch. and one double crochet in that next stitch. Okay, so your pattern for round three is two double crochet 
and then one double crochet in the next stitch. So two and one, two and one. So two, one, two, one. All right, at the end of round three, you'll have 30 stitches. Go ahead and join the slip stitch to that first double crochet. Okay, so for the reindeer here, you can see his head is more oval shaped, um, just like the body is. So for round four, we're going, I'm gonna show you how to make it that oval shape. And as you can see here, this is curving a little bit. I actually, after finishing the head and the body, I ironed them flat. And what I did was I used, um, and actually it's a, um, you need a piece of fabric to cover your crochet. You need something between your crochet work and the iron. I used a, um, just a napkin, like a cloth napkin. And I just pressed flat on both sides. So I would highly recommend doing that. That way it looks nice and neat and finished and straight. But for the head for round four, after you join, going to chain one, and I'm going to single crochet in three stitches. One, two, three. Okay, then I'm going to half double crochet in two. One, two, then I'm going to double crochet in three. And then I'm going to half double crochet two. And then I'm gonna single crochet in three. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna slip stitch in that next stitch there. Okay, so you can see that makes it look a little bit more oval shaped. Okay, so you have your head. Okay, now I will show you how to make the body. You're gonna continue using that same color yarn, make a magic ring. Okay, chain two and make 10 double crochet in your magic ring.
six, eight, ten. Okay, go ahead and join. Okay. Chain two, and now you're going to make two double crochet in each. Okay, go ahead and join with a slip stitch to that first double crochet for round three. You're going to chain two and you're going to make two double crochet in that first stitch and one double crochet in the next. And you'll repeat that pattern all the way around. Two, one, two, one, just like we did for the head. I don't know if you can hear that noise, but my kids are excited because there are deer in the backyard. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay.
Okay, go ahead and join. Okay, now for round four, we are going to chain two, make two double crochet in that first stitch, and then you're going to double crochet once in the next two stitches. Okay, and you'll repeat that pattern all the way around. Two, one, one, two, one, one. So two, one, one, two, one, one, okay? So I have two and one, okay. Go ahead and join with the slip stitch. All right, and now for round five. This is where we're going to make, you can see here, the um, body is more of an oval shape, so I'm gonna show you how to make, turn your circle into an oval. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and chain two, and you're gonna double crochet four. One, Two, three, four. Okay, now you're going to half double crochet three. One, two, three. Single crochet six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're
you're going to half double crochet in three, one, two, three, double crochet in eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, half double crochet three, one, two, three, single crochet six, Six, half double crochet in three, you should have four stitches remaining, one, two, three, four, double crochet in those four stitches. If you need to see that in written form, you can always find the link below to the written, written pattern on my blog. We started with four double crochet and ended with four double crochet, which is why we made eight down here. And then to transition from those single crochet to the double crochet, there are sets of half double crochet between, okay? Go ahead and join. And now you can fasten off because you are done with the body. So now we have made the head and the body, and again, you can weave in all those ends, and then I would just press those with an iron on each side um, with a fabric piece of fabric in between to flatten them out. I'm going to actually now show you how to make the scarf. Um, for the scarf, you are going to need the color of yarn that you just um, decided upon for your scarf. So I'm using blue here just like I did for this, my original reindeer. Okay, so remember you made those three double crochet. Those are going to be the top of your head. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to double crochet in nine stitches down here. I want to make sure it's even along the bottom. So let's see here. One, if I start in that stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that looks close enough to me. So I'm going to make my join my blue yarn here. And that way the middle of my scarf will be in line with the top of the head there. Okay? You're gonna join your yarn. Chain two, and you are going to double crochet in nine. One, two, oops, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that is the front of the scarf there. You just have to weave in those ends. Now we're going to make this part right here. 
that's the hanging part of this scarf where it hangs down, okay? So what you're gonna do is just don't fasten off, just chain six from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to double crochet in that third chain from your hook. So there's one, two, three, four, and now you're going to join that to your scarf with a slip stitch. So I'm gonna just join right here. Okay, and here you have the front. And again, those ends will have to be woven in. Now here's a tip, when you sew that the head onto the body, you're gonna be using your blue yarn because you're gonna be sewing it through the scarf. You'll attach it like that. So leave a long enough yarn tail for, for you to work with later to sew it on, okay? All right, and I'm not gonna show you how to weave in all these ends. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. And that's definitely not the fun part of crochet, so. Okay, all right, so now you have your head and your body. So let's see here. Now I'm going to show you how to make the nose. Okay, you're gonna need your red yarn. I'm gonna get this blue out of the way. I did ask my kids to be quiet. I told them I was going to film a tutorial and I think they forgot. So I apologize if it's very noisy. Okay, so go ahead and grab that red yarn and you are going to make a magic ring. Okay, now I'm going to make half double crochet and here's my dilemma. When I make a single crochet, I chain one. If I make a double crochet, I chain two. Typically, when I'm just crocheting by myself, not for a pattern, and I make a half double crochet, I usually chain one. Um, I think technically you're supposed to chain two, but to be honest, I am not sure. But I find that what I tend to do is, when I am working in the round, I will chain one for a half double crochet. But if I'm working flat, I tend to chain two. Um, and I'm not really sure why. I think maybe because it ends up with being with too much fabric. I don't know, just, just how it looks. I just like it better. So I'm gonna do it that way. If you wanna chain two, chain two. I chained one, and now I'm going to make six half double crochet. All right, you're gonna join. Now, I messed around with this nose quite a bit because it was either too big or too small, so I decided that for round two, I used single crochet for round two. So for round one, I made my six half double crochet. For round two, we're gonna switch to single crochet. So chain one, and then you're just going to make two single crochet in each of those stitches. And the first two, of course, go in that same stitch that you joined to. Okay, so there's one. Two.
two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, now then go ahead and join to your first single crochet. There you go. There you have your nose. And then all you need to do is grab a piece of scrap weight yarn. I do this for the eyes sometimes for my um, animal hats. I like to give it sparkle. I don't know, I just think it makes it look cuter. And then I just, so you're just gonna add a line. You can make it a little thicker. You could just leave it, actually I think like that. Might even look better than my original. All right, so there you have your nose. Okay, so for assembling these pieces that we have so far, you're going to make sure with the body that the air, two sections of half double crochet, half double crochet down here, so they're at the top and the bottom, okay? And you'll use a tapestry needle and that blue yarn tail from your scarf and you'll attach you'll sew the scarf onto the top of the body okay so you won't really be working through the head you'll just be working through the scarf that's where it gets attached and then you're going to sew your nose onto the head just above the scarf do not leave any space between I think it looks cuter it looks like the nose is further down. Um, I think it looked good just attaching it right there, right after the scarf, okay? So you just sew those together. And now, all we have left are the arms and legs, the antlers, and the two eyes. The two eyes I can actually show you really quick because that was really simple too. Um, you just need a long scrap of black yarn Thread that onto your tapestry needle. And then all I did was above the nose, I just came in from the back. And then I went down to the bottom of that crochet. So you can see this is the round. There's one eye. And then I did the exact same thing on the other side. And you can make them, I think for my original, I had them a little closer together. Just two lines for the eyeballs. Okay. Pretty cute. Okay. All right, so that's simple enough. Okay, so now I need to show you how to make the arms and legs and the antlers. Okay. For the antlers, you're going to use a darker yarn, a darker brown. You need to make two of them. I'm just going to make one just to show you how. Okay, you're gonna you're still using that same crochet hook. All right, you're going to make a slip knot and chain 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay. You're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and you're going to single crochet five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. That is the first branch that you have made there, okay? Now what you're going to do from here is chain six. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, we're making our second branch. And do the same thing. You're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the remaining four stitches. So you'll have a total of five single crochet. Three, four, five, Okay, so you can see, let me set this down. Ooh. This was our original chain. We worked in five single crochet, chained six, worked five single crochet, so now we're going to single crochet and there's six remaining chains. Okay, so find that next chain and just begin crocheting. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And fasten off. Make sure you leave a long enough yarn tail to sew your antlers onto your, onto the head. Okay. There we go. You need to make two of those. Easy enough. And then you can see here I just attached them to the head right there at the top around that loop from that double crochet. Okay, and they stand up on their own. Okay, so you'll have to make two of those. Okay, so now the only thing that we have left is the arms and legs. They are the same, the pattern is the same. I will make one of them. You'll need to make four. Um, you might wanna, um, Make a note of the time for the video so that you can go back, rewind this, and watch it again if you need to. I should have mentioned that for the antler. Okay, so you'll have to make four of these. What you're going to do is go back to that lighter color brown that you were using. Oops. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make a slip knot and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Four. And I should note, leave a long tail for yourself um, as a tip here because this is what you'll use to attach to the body, okay? So when you make that um, beginning chain, make sure you leave a really long tail for yourself to sew onto the body. Okay, so we chained four, so now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in those remaining two chains. Okay, so you have a total of three, okay? That's row one. Okay, for row two, turn chain one, and you're going to just single crochet once in each of those three chain, three single crochet. Two, three, all right. Now you're gonna chain one, and then you are going to, for row three, make two single crochet. One, two, two single crochet in that first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochet in the last stitch. So for row three, you'll have a total of five stitches. Okay, chain one. And now for rows four, five, and six, you are just making one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so this is row four. Apparently my six-year-old stole my gum. All right, that was row four. Now I'm working on row five. You can hear the kids yelling out there. I don't know why I always have such trouble with that last stitch there. Row five and then row six. Mm, 
Okay. All right, now you are done using this lighter brown yarn. You are going to join that same color that you used for the antlers, that darker brown. I have a knot here, let me get this out, okay. I'm gonna lost the end of it. Sorry. Okay, go ahead and join that yarn and you'll have to weave in all these ends after. Chain one. And then for rows seven and eight, you're doing the same thing. Just make one single crochet in each stitch for those rows. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Chain one. And then for your last row, which is row eight, one single crochet in each. Two, three, four, and then in that last stitch. Okay. Okay, you'll have to weave in those ends. And then you'll use this yarn till here to attach your forearms and legs to your reindeer. Okay, so I've shown you how to make the head, the body, the scarf, the nose, the nose sparkle, eyes, antlers, and the four arms and legs. All right, and I think there's so many different uses for this pattern. You could, you know, attach maybe a string or a piece of yarn to the top and turn it into an ornament. Or you could um, maybe, I don't know, maybe somehow make a rectangle for the back and turn it into a gift card holder. If you did that, you would probably want to make two heads and sew another one on after to hide your yarn tails there since that's not so pretty. Um, you could put it in a glass frame, picture frame, a little one maybe. Um, my finished reindeer, the length of it measures eight inches and then the width is approximately four and a half inches. Um, all right, so if you do make your own, um, please tag me if you are on Instagram and you share a photo. I would love to see what you do, what unique creations you make and what you guys do with your reindeers. Um, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you receive notifications when I post new videos. All right, thank you.